hot now. This is hot, hot, hot. Now, before getting into the gist, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can leave a comment in the section below. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another segment of the reunion. And this time, beauty, Fina, and Groovy are at it. Eh, hey, now she's with the groovy self. If you want to mm -hmm. die, go and die. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Make Beauty. I die because say you did this man. What's your fool? My Beauty. sister, don't be like that. Too. Beauty, see. Beauty. Hello. Don't be like that. Beauty. Too. Don't be like that. Beauty. Personally. But anyway, personally, the thing is, Beauty. let me ask Ibuka. Let me ask Ibuka. So, the thing is, I never had. To be honest, I never had any problem with it. Do you understand? By the way, when Beauty said, let me juggle your memory, I think this is what she meant. Maybe she get mad. I can't go tell now. You're with the groovy. If she won't die, then she die. Now, in all honesty, Beauty is still pained about the whole groovy issue because if she wasn't, all Fina's talks and bans would not mean anything to her. I mean, she has tried to prove so much that she's above Fina, so it shouldn't move Beauty, right? Or is she threatened by Fina and thinking that this babe will overshadow her in the industry? Because to me, this goes deeper than the surface. And is it just me that thinks that all of this is scripted? Because normally, Fina would have answered her. I mean, we've seen how she has been going off on Chi Chi and Groovy and anybody that talks to her anyhow. How come she looked timid and calm? It's Fina, the last girl from the streets. Guys, this is not adding up. Don't you see how much they're trying to favor beauty and make her look like a saint? And maybe they've gotten to Fina and told her to play a certain way unless they will strip her of some benefits. I mean, you can obviously tell that beauty get leg in the industry because this is the first time they're bringing a disqualified housemate to a reunion. Okay, now let's talk about this. And I will still apologize today because guess what? I'm more mature than you. I don't think a mature person will keep telling you that they are mature because it will obviously show in your actions. And imagine trying to gaslight the person she abused and even the viewers that watch the show and your fans who say that that is a queen, that is a classic girl. To be honest, all I'm seeing is a packaged version of Fina because this babe has not changed at all. All I see is a body that is pained by being played by people that she seemingly knows is not on her level but it is what it is but then again a mature person is throwing shade on social media away from all of that now during the time of reunion it was time to talk about mr and mrs ikoyi but when they were playing the recap bella had a stern face <laughs> You did smile throughout that video, Bella. Is everything okay? I'm fine. What's the problem? Nothing. I'm fine. When did you notice his presence around you? Hey, like the moment he walked into that door. Yeah. I'm just like I'm in trouble. Why? He was so good looking. He's actually my type. I mean, this is someone you claim to love, right? So reminiscing on those videos should make you smile. So why was she boning her face? Even through explaining her love for shakes, her face didn't even look like somebody that have joy. I mean, she's an honest person, right? But I don't entirely feel that she was honest. I feel they rehearsed this whole conversation and brought it out for everybody to hear. And I'm not bad Beleo, but something about her face screams, help me help me which makes me think could shakes have put her up to it could it be all for clout could it be that he even threatened her not to say anything so people will believe and say oh shakes has changed a lot and come out i i mean you remember the issue with his ex right okay all i'm doing is asking questions and finally let's move on to another one it's Elo swag and chumsy Ella Swag and Chumsy brought guns to a fist fight and shots were fired. Huh. Stuff that we always, that we did, yes or no, please, we can attest to it because you're making it seem like I want to come here for clout. We all followed each other. That's exactly what you're oh, doing. Oh, we all followed each other. We, 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 we actually planned this. It was there. It didn't really trend because the clout is there. It's not necessary. We know them are. Well. So. <laughs> <laughs> but now let's all agree that Ella Swag is just paying from not getting the woman that he loved in the house. But how come Chumzi is angry? Hmm? Doesn't she have a supposed supportive married man sponsoring her lifestyle? So why exactly would she be pissed at what Elo Swag says? Hmm? And look, he said something happened in SA. 
that auntie snuck out of the room countless times at night. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe she was sneaking out to go and meet Groovy to have a good time. You know they had chemistry in the house. Does that mean that she's afraid of him casting her? <laughs> now I understand why she desperately hates Elo Swag. If this is true, eh? <laughs> okay, well, that's all I have for you on this G segment. Until next time, you guys, remember, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.